Welcome to this enrichment session for computing, and we're going to be doing something that's proper enrichment today, something we can't fit into our normal computing lessons and needs longer than an hour to complete. I'm guessing you play games. Now, back in the 1980s, there was a revolution in home computers that meant children at school, people in their 40s and 50s now, were able to write their own games and publish them. Computers were simple enough for that to be a thing, and then computers got more complex, and we got games consoles, game studios developed that spent thousands, possibly millions, developing more and more complex games, often distributed through cartridges, not something a single individual could make. But in the last decade, the web, open game consoles like Xbox and PlayStation, mobile platforms such as iOS and Android, have once again made it possible for somebody to make and distribute their own game. Today we're going to give you an introduction to a professional level game development platform, one that's web-based. You can use this for free, and if you end up producing something that you do want to sell, you can sign up for a paid license and that will allow you to distribute the game. Introducing Construct3. Are you making a 2D game and are on the lookout for a no-code game engine? Look no further. You should check out Construct3. You'll know we're fans of the engine. We like Construct 3 because of its ease of use and accessibility. First off, it's web-based. That means you can use it on almost any device, PC, Mac, Linux, tablets, and you can even do some light editing on your phone. If you want to check it out right now, it's as easy as heading over to editor.construct.net. It runs right in your browser. We also like its built-in behaviors. Their behavior library contains everything you'll need to make a traditional 2D game right out of the box. Easily make point-and-click games, platformers, top-down shooters, and more. And lastly, we love how easy it is to test, export, and deploy your games. Test on the go at any point via your browser. When you're ready, exporting is as simple as a few clicks. Guinea Pig Parkour is a comedy parkour platformer adventure just oozing with charm. Inspired by cartoons of the 90s and games like Earthworm Jim and Disney's Aladdin for the Super Nintendo, the game takes you through a radical cartoon world via a lovable guinea pig. It's amazing that a single dev tackled not only making the game, but also the expertly executed hand-drawn look. Each animation was made from scratch and animated at 24 frames per second. What we love most about the game's development is that Jeff shares a lot of it on YouTube. Check out the Guinea Pig Parkour channel on YouTube to watch some live game dev, live animation, and more. This next title, There Is No Game by Kami Zoto. It's actually the most played game on the list, and it's easy to see why. It's got a fantastic narrator who welcomes you from the start, and, well, anything more might be a spoiler, because after all, there is no game. So let's show you the simple steps to get started. First, you should have access to this handy paper-based guide we've printed. Use that to remind you what we want you to do later. Now to get started, browse to construct.net and then select the pink launch the guided tour button to open the editor. Take the guided tour if you want to. You can return to do that later if you, if you wish, but we have a game already set up for you to try and modify. Note that the site actually allows you to create an account, and feel free to do that if you want to, but you don't actually have to do that to get started. Instead, pop to the Open button, top right, and select File. Now we've left our starter file in the RM Shared drive on our network, so click this PC, and then RM Shared, and then go to the Computing folder, and at the very top, Games. There it is, Platformer Level Creator. You'll see that this is a platform game with what we call placeholder graphics made up of shapes. I can press the run button up at the top to show you just how bad I am at this game. So I can use the up arrow to jump and left and right to move. And so I can work my way gradually up to the top of these platforms, being careful not to fall down. And at the top platform, you'll actually notice a bunch of tempting coins in a stack. Time to grab those. Ah. A spike at the bottom kills me. Now I can run back up and try again to see if I can do a better job. I'm absolutely certain you would. But those spikes are just not making this game motivating for me to play. A bit too hard for me. And if it was a normal game, I'd probably write it off as being too frustrating and just stop. However, this game is in Construct, and I can edit it. How about grabbing those spikes and moving them? Well... 
Sure enough, this time, I don't have to worry and I can get through this level nice and easily. The big green box is the portal to the next level. This time a much easier one. Straight down a pile of coins, yielding me 12 so far, but I now encounter an enemy, the dreaded purple square. A Mario-style kill for this one, although I should probably have bounced on the enemy a little bit more strategically to get more coins. You get the idea. These existing levels can be accessed using the project menu over on the top right. And I can move around any object on the level. Objects can be copy pasted to produce more objects of the same type. And once edited, you can try your game. If you go up to the menu and select project, it allows you to save your game by downloading a copy for later upload. The drop down menu also has direct access to web based tutorials so you can build your own game from scratch. The main screen also has access to these tutorials as well and our tutorial sheet gives you key challenges to get started today including the challenge to modify the graphics so the placeholder images look better, adjust the existing levels and create your own. So have fun, get creative, the only limit is your imagination.